Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Did you know that you can use many MoGraph effectors as deformers on objects? Let me show you how we can do that. Here in this scene I've got a torus and there is a plane effector active and of course in order to deform an object the effector would need to be a child of the torus. But as you can see nothing is happening, although there is a change in position here. What we need to do in order to deform an object using an effector is we need to go to the deformer tab and set the deformation parameter to point. And now you can see that the radius of the torus is bigger, but let's also check for these artifacts here. Let me go to display guru shading with lines and here we can see that there are some arrows and we want to know where they are coming from. So let's go back to the parameter tab here. And one thing you need to know is that the normal direction of an object in the MoGraph context is the C direction. So instead of Y, let's bring this down to zero, we need to use Z direction. So let's use 20 as well. And you can see that the radius of the whole sphere is now bigger. Now let's deactivate Guru shading with lines again. And as you can see, the cool thing about using the plane effector as a deformer is that we can move the whole surface in normal direction. This is pretty cool. We can also use it with a fall off, for example, with the linear field. Now you can see that we can restrict that effect to the area where the linear field has some weight. All right, now let's deactivate the plane effector and let's also make the random and the formula effector a child of the torus. Let's activate the random effector for now and let's also set it to deformation point. Now you can see that we are using the random effector to create some chaos on the surface here. We can also go to the falloff tab and use the linear field here and now if we select it and move it around we can mask the chaos. There's also another effector that I wanted to show which is pretty cool which is the formula effector. The formula effector can do really cool stuff with geometry. So let's select it and let's also set the former to point. And here you can see that this is a pretty cool effect and it's even animating. Let's bring it back. The formula is quite simple. I just added a modulo multiplication to the default formula here. And also this can be masked using the linear field, of course so we get an interesting effect like this one. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe!